These are the highest reviewed games on Steam from every year since Steam was created. In the first year Steam was launched, the highest reviewed game was Day of Defeat. It is an intense World War II first person shooter that throws players into the heart of historic battles. Choose your side, either the Allies or the Axis, and work together with your team to complete mission objectives. With a range of authentic weapons and classes to pick from, strategy and teamwork are key to victory. Whether storming the beaches of Omaha or battling through the streets of Stalingrad, Day of Defeat immerses you in the gritty and realistic world of World War II combat. Next in 2005 is Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 is a groundbreaking first-person shooter that takes players on a journey through a dystopian world. You step into the shoes of Gordon Freeman, a scientist thrust into a war against alien invaders and a tyrannical government. The game boasts a gripping narrative with a silent protagonist, immersive storytelling and stunning graphics for its time. Utilizing the gravity gun, you can manipulate objects in creative ways, adding unique physics-based gameplay. The game offers a blend of intense gunfights, intricate puzzles, and memorable characters. From the eerie atmosphere of Ravenholm to the exhilarating battles against combined forces, Half-Life 2 offers an unparalleled gaming experience that continues to captivate players. In 2005, the game was Day of Defeat Source, which is basically Day of Defeat 2. It's again a World War II themed first-person shooter. And again, you can either fight for the Allied forces or the Axis powers, and then work together with your team to complete mission objectives. The game offers a variety of iconic maps, adding to the realism and the intensity of the experience. And in 2006, the highest reviewed game was Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod is a sandbox game that's all about creativity, fun, and limitless possibilities. In this game, you have the power to manipulate objects, characters, and assets from various Source Engine games to build whatever you can imagine. Whether it's crafting intricate contraptions, designing custom game models, or just goofing around with your friends, Gary's Mod lets you be the master of your virtual universe. In 2007, it was Portal. Portal is a mind-bending puzzle game that delivers an unforgettable gaming experience. You play as Chell, a test subject trapped in a mysterious Aperture Science facility. Armed with a Portal Gun, you must solve a series of puzzles that involve creating interdimensional doorways or portals to navigate through chest chambers. The game's AI companion GLaDOS guides you through the trials, but things take a sinister turn as you uncover the facility's secrets. In 2008, the game was Left 4 Dead. This game is a cooperative first-person shooter that drops you and your friends into a post-apocalyptic world overrun by hordes of relentless zombies. Your mission is to fight your way to safety through a series of challenging campaigns, each filled with intense actions and terrifying moments. The game excels in teamwork as you and your three friends work together to survive the onslaught. Each player can choose from unique characters and success depends on your coordination, communication and choosing the right weapon for the job. In 2009, Plants vs Zombies was the highest reviewed game on Steam. Plants vs Zombies is an addictive tower defense game that puts you against an army of relentless zombies. Your task is to strategically plant a variety of flora with unique abilities to fend off the undead horde and protect your home. Each plant has its role, from pea shooters launching projectiles to sunflowers generating resources. As you progress, you unlock new plants and encounter increasingly challenging zombie types, each with their own special abilities. This keeps gameplay fresh and engaging. In 2010, it was Mountain Blade Warband. It's a medieval sandbox RPG that plunges players into a rich and dynamic world. You begin as a lone an adventurer and rise through the ranks to become a powerful ruler, carving your destiny in a war-torn land. The game features a unique combat system that combines horseback riding, sword play, and archery, offering a thrilling and realistic battlefield experience. You can recruit and lead armies, engage in diplomacy, or engage in political intrigue in a sprawling medieval realm. 2011 is a game that most of you should know. It's Terraria. But if you don't know what it is, Terraria is an enchanting 2D sandbox adventure game that combines creativity, exploration, and epic battles. It's set in a procedurally generated world and you'll begin with a pickaxe and an axe but the possibilities are endless as you dig deep underground you uncover precious resources and face off against a wide array of monsters and bosses the game's crafting system lets you transform those resources into powerful weapons armor and tools for 2012 the game is dishonored it's a thrilling stealth action game that takes place in a dark and dystopian world you assume the role of corvo atano a skilled assassin framed for the crime he didn't commit it's set in the steampunk inspired city of dunwall the game blends elements of supernatural powers espionage and revenge. Pursue your objectives with stealth or engage in brutal combat. The choices you make throughout the game have a significant impact on the story and the world, leading to multiple endings. In 2013, the highest reviewed game was The Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us is an impressive and grippy narrative-driven game based on the popular Fables comic book series. Set in a gritty, noir-inspired version of New York City, you step in the shoes of Bigby Wolf, the sheriff of Fable Town, where fairy tale characters live in secret among humans. As Bigby, you must investigate a series of brutal murders, navigating a complex web of deceit, conspiracies, and moral dilemmas. Your choices shape the story of relationships with other characters, blurring the line between hero and anti-hero. In 2014, it was The Blinding of Isaac Rebirth. The Blinding of Isaac 
Isaac Rebirth is a dark and addictive roguelike game that delves into a twisted world filled with grotesque creatures and disturbing themes. You play as Isaac, a young boy who must navigate his basement to escape from his deranged and abusive mother. The game's randomly generated dungeons provides endless replayability as you face off against the bizarre enemies and bosses, collecting power-ups and items along the way that can either enhance or mutate Isaac's abilities. Each run is unique, creating a challenging and unpredictable experience. In 2015, it was Undertale. Undertale is an indie RPG that defies convention and captures players' hearts with its unique charm and gameplay. You play as a child who has fallen into an underground world of monsters, and your choices matter more than you can imagine. The game lets you decide how to interact with the characters you encounter, whether through combat or non-violent means like conversation or mercy. This choice-driven system influences the story and ultimately determines the game's outcome, leading to multiple endings. In 2016, it was Stardew Valley, one of the most loved games on this list. Stardew Valley is a charming and addictive farming simulation game that invites players to escape the hustle and bustle of the city life and embrace the tranquility of rural living. You inherit a rundown farm and embark on a journey to restore it to its former glory. The game offers a delightful mix of activities, from planting and tending crops, raising animals and mining for resources, fishing, crafting and socializing with friendly townsfolk. As you cultivate your farm and interact with the community, you uncover secrets, build relationships and even find love. In 2017, the game was Hollow Knight, personally my favorite game on the list. Hollow Knight is a mesmerizing and atmospheric action adventure game that transports players into a hauntingly beautiful underground world, teeming with mystery and danger. You play as a nameless knight exploring the fallen kingdom of Hollowness. The game offers a tight and challenging combat, inviting you to master an array of weapons and abilities. As you delve deeper in the vast interconnected labyrinth, you will encounter creatures and formidable bosses, each with their unique behaviors and lore. In 2018, RimWorld had the highest reviews. RimWorld is an addictive sci-fi colony management game that offers a unique blend of storytelling, strategy, and survival. You're tasked with guiding a group of survivors who have crash landed on a distant and hostile planet. The game's AI storyteller creates dynamic and often unpredictable challenges, ensuring that each playthrough is a fresh experience. You'll need to manage resources, build structures, and research technology to sustain your colony and protect it from threats like pirates, wildlife, and environmental disasters. In 2019, the highest rated game was People Playground. It's a sandbox game that lets your creativity run wild with a physics-based playground of destruction. You have the power to experiment with a vast array of objects and tools, unleashing chaos and testing the limits of physics. The game's open-ended nature means that you can create your own scenarios, whether it's setting up complex machines or simply causing mayhem with explosives and weaponry. You will discover an assortment of characters and objects to interact with, each with its own unique properties. In 2020, it was Hades. Hades is an action-packed roguelike game set in Greek mythology. You play as Zagreus, the prince of the underworld, on a quest to escape the realm of the dead. With fast-paced combat and beautifully designed levels, each escape attempt offers a unique and challenging experience. The game has deep storytelling, rich characters, and stunning art. As you encounter gods and mythical creatures, you unlock upgrades and unravel a captivating narrative. Hades is a masterpiece that seamlessly combines engaging gameplay and an immersive story, making it a must-play for action and mythology enthusiasts. In 2021, the game was Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TABS for short. TABS is a hilarious and unique physics-based strategy game. It lets you put bizarre and comical units against the each other in epic battles. From squabbling farmers to lumbering mammoths, the game offers a wide variety of units to experiment with. With a sandbox mode and campaign battles, you can create your own wacky scenarios or engage in challenging campaigns. Tabs offbeat humor, quirky physics, and endless possibilities make it a great game experience for those who enjoy absurdity and strategy combined. In 2022, it was Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors is a fast-paced and addictively challenging indie game that thrusts you into the shoes of a vampire hunter. Your goal is to eliminate waves of bloodthirsty vampires in an arena-style environment. The game offers a wide range of weapons, each with its unique attributes and abilities, allowing you to customize your playstyle. As you progress, you'll face increasingly powerful vampire bosses and unlock upgrades to enhance your arsenal. And finally, in 2023, so far, the game is Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower is a retro-inspired indie game that combines platforming and wacky humor. You play as a pizza delivery guy named Pepino, tasked with delivering pizzas in a bizarre and surreal tower filled with quirky characters and challenges. The game's fast-paced action, unique power-ups, and imaginative level design makes it a delightful and offbeat experience. Experience. With its charming pixel art and catchy music, Pizza Tower offers a slice of nostalgia and fun for gamers who enjoy quirky and unconventional platformers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and bye.